I have two egg yolks already in the bowl here, and I'm going to crack two more eggs, whole eggs. Then I'm going to add some ginger, dry ginger, and whisk that. Next, I'm going to put breadcrumbs into this bowl with some raisins, or you can use cranberries, any dried fruit, and some zest of one lemon. Mix that together. Then I'm going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry and mix all that together to form a dough. Now it formed a thick dough that I'm going to roll into small balls and dust with some flour. Alright guys, so now to cook these, she needs some boiling water, so I'm going to get the cast iron Dutch oven on the fire, get the water boiling so she can finish up her pudding. So we're going to drop these dough balls into boiling water and let them sit in there for 15 minutes.
Alright guys, so there's quite a few ways you can do this one as well. Uh, these are ready to eat as soon as you take them out of the pot. You can also let them sit here and rest until they get a little bit dry. Uh, you can serve them with a heated up butter sugar sauce there. You can do maple syrup, which is what we're going to do. I still have just a touch left over from the one I made. And I got a small mason jar full here from uh, a student that I had up here, Jason Hyland. So thank you for that, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, we're definitely going to try that out right now. So you can do any type of sweet sauce with these. You know, it will work well. Uh, it is a dessert. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. You can also use honey too. Tastes like the sweetness of the raisin. I can definitely taste that lemon zest in that too. Mm -hmm. right. It's really good. Mm -hmm. We'll be making these again. The syrup's really good too. So again, thank you Jason for sending up the syrup. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Uh, just to give credit where it's due, you know, I typically like to do that, at least when I'm thinking about it. Uh, some of the recipes you're seeing, and I'm going to see in future videos, I'm actually getting from Jas Townsend. He has a great channel, so uh, be sure to check him out if you haven't already. He has his daughter in quite a few. She's cute. Uh, they do a great job together. Very well put together videos. So uh, not to steal his ideas and redo his videos, but he does nothing but 18th century cooking. So a lot of these are going to be first timers for me just trying it out and see how it tastes, you know what I mean? And, try things out that I can you know cook while I'm out in the field out on a scout or a trek or something like that as well as do some home cooking with my wife and my son uh, try different things out so uh, again just to give credit to him where it's due uh, he does a great job um, the last video the New England boiled dinner that we did uh, my wife and I did some research ourselves on that though both of our parents uh, as well as her now have been cooking that uh, meal for years mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty common in a lot of households I believe but uh, again that dates back even pre 18th century and um, it's a good fine meal as well so uh, we're gonna finish these up they're very good I highly recommend giving these a try uh, I'm actually quite surprised on how good they are so we're gonna finish these up we thank you for your views your support and we'll see you real soon with another video until then take care